If you're interested in CSGO, please make sure to check out my second channel Hazard Edit Gaming for CSGO related content I upload there. Thank you. What's up guys, Hyatt here and welcome to the preview of one of my next tutorials. So a very requested one was the D3D menu, cheating menu in general tutorial. So right here I have a prototype, very, very general, very basic uh, menu right here on the screen. And this is what the next controller is gonna be, aside from what I announced in my previous video about the C++ things, uh, C++ tutorials. Um, so yeah, what we are looking at is just buttons. It's a button class that I created and it holds information about the label, the button itself, its color, basically those are states you'll see in a second. Size, position, also position in the menu, which is very important. So, yeah, without further ado, I can move around with my arrow keys. Can enable and disable with the space bar. That's how I made it. You can make it whatever you like. Um, what else? This one is inactive, that's why it's gray. So it has three states inactive, active, and disabled. Disabled was the one I meant. And obviously, the selected one has to look different, which means in my case it's white and the other ones are gray labels. And the ESP, for example, has additional features like box and health, which can also be enabled and disabled. So I can walk around like that. It's basically matrix, but we will look at how to make something like that in another video, in the tutorial itself. And I can also move it around wherever I want. I can position it anywhere. So yeah, you get the point, obviously. So the features, they don't do anything, but you know, you can add any features you want. It's just about the menu in this time. So yeah. I thank you guys for watching and stay tuned for the tutorial. By the way, I didn't like some of the viewers' reactions to my last video. I'm not talking about saying like, someone said the mask is cringy, it's actually, no, actually not that cringy. I'm gonna show a picture right here of uh, what it actually is. It's a skull mask, so yeah, I know it's very dark and looks cringy, but anyways. Um, I didn't like the reaction like saying, it was in German, but saying stop posting shit like this, uh, make tutorials or something like that. I think you have to respect what someone does on YouTube. You're not forced to watch it, and if you don't watch the video, which the last one was actually an update video, even if, if I didn't say that in, this, uh, in the title, because I just didn't. Um, so yeah, I announce what I'm going to do next, no problem. I mean, you don't have to watch it if you don't want to, nobody forces you. But a little bit more respect than saying do this and that, um, stop doing the shit, your other videos are shit, I don't... That's something I don't like when people say. Anyways, uh, stay tuned for the tutorial and see you guys next time, peace out.